Hi guys, so we are here at SeaWorld. We're gonna hang out at the uh, SeaWorld Food Festival today. Um, we were at, uh, yeah, we were actually at a Bush Garden um, a few weeks ago. So yeah, something pretty cool here is that during the, during the weekend, they have the food festival. They have all these little, little acts here um, in various places. We got these people on stilts and also some people uh, on the stage there, I guess, making some jokes. So yeah, we're gonna go and check out some of these little side shows they have here. So unlike Bush Gardens, there's actually food festival um, booths everywhere. So here we have the Caribbean Moonshine uh, booth. There's also some special items here at the booth. Um, close to the water, the Cafe de Mar that usually has special items during various times of the year. Uh, this year they have a whiskey maple bacon cinnamon roll. So it's a bit like the Epcot uh, food festivals. They have various countries and uh, various types of food from around the world. Here we have the French market. Well, the French market actually has uh, escargot. Uh, on bread, garlic, kind of garlic bread. They have a duck confit and a mini creme brulee. Here we have the All American Market. Uh, they have lobster mac and cheese, uh, cannonball chicken wings with uh, barbecue sauce. I guess it's kind of spicy, maybe, and uh, fried pickles. Over here we have the Polynesian market, uh, where they usually have the hot dogs. Um, here at the Polynesian market, they have uh, poke, uh, ahi poke uh, tuna nachos and smoked lamb ribs. All right, next we have the North Atlantic market, and um, here they have another lobster roll. They have fish and chips and a Boston cream cheesecake. Next we have the Italian market. They have mini calzone with ricotta, mozzarella, and marinara sauce. They got uh, Palermo Fontina cheese meatballs and Italian cannolis. Yeah, they look pretty good here. Here we're coming up to another booth also. This one's called Sweet Sips. And mostly this one just sells cupcakes and wine. Uh, very, very expensive cupcakes. Here you guys can see what the food here looks like at Italian market. Um, there's the calzone and the cannoli. Here we have the Irish market. Uh, we have St. Patrick's Day's nachos with uh, chips and corned beef and cabbage, uh, bangers and mash, which is not really Irish, it's British, um, and the Jameson donuts. Okay, the next one is called the Mediterranean Market. Um, and here we have a uh, Moroccan lamb chop and uh, baklava and euros. The next one is called Indian Market. Here, of course, we do have some typical Indian foods. Um, so we have here chicken tikka masala and garlic naan and chickpea curry, uh, something called jalebi, which is, uh, they say is an Indian uh, funnel cake uh, with wildflower honey.
Never heard of that before. Ah, here's a picture of a jalebi. It does look like a funnel cake. It's kind of a bit oddly shaped. Okay, here at the Asian market, we have some tempura battered sushi. Pretty much a California roll with a with masago, so kind of like fish eggs and eel sauce. Um, deep fried California roll. <laughs> then they have also pot stickers um, and what they call bingsu salted caramel ice cream with vanilla ice cream, caramel, popcorn, and caramel. That ice cream looks pretty good. Here we have the German market. Uh, they got some uh, bratwurst and uh, really long, a foot long pretzels on a stick chocolate covered and cinnamon sugar covered pretzels um, it says it's a foot long they do look really big <laughs> they do look pretty tasty though if you guys like pretzels especially sweet pretzels yeah these ones look like a good choice so right now we are watching the tales of polynesia show uh, located just uh, next to the polynesian market uh, food festival booth this is also actually the area where they go diving for oysters so if you guys have seen um, the Diving for oysters at various times of day at SeaWorld. This is where um, the Tales of Polynesia is also located. Our next show is actually the Bavarian Jugglers, uh, located by that Germany booth where they had that really long foot long uh, pretzels, um, just located also at the front of the entrance to Sesame Street. So yeah, we're going to see what kind of juggling these guys do. Okay, I'll see the trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been practicing this one for 85 years. 
We start practicing when we're 50. Hey. Hey. It always works. It did work, but I, I still got one more. I'm gonna stand up. What? Yep, hold on. No, Hans, if you stand up, I should stand up too. No, 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 because if you fall, I'm also gonna fall. That, that's fine. That's not fine. That's totally fine. No, I got it. This could be my moment. You don't have to do it too. I'm not giving it a moment. I'm not quitting. Don't do that. Why do you do that? You're shaking my hand. Then we're gonna be like, oh! oh! I'm scared. I see why you are the brown leader, Ozil. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. I think we got it this time. This feels better. Alright, man. We're all the way Here's two more marketplaces. This is the Mexican market. They have a taco al pastor, but it's not with pork, it's actually with chicken. Uh, Mexican street corn and a dulce leche uh, mini cake. Here at Gulf Coast Market, Gulf Coast Market, uh, we have boudin balls, which is the Cajun rice ball with ground pork and chicken with remoulade sauce and Cajun shrimp and grits and banana foster uh, beignets. Yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks pretty good actually. Here at this booth, we have the veggie market. Um, so the things at this booth actually are vegan and vegetarian. So they have some pretty interesting looking stuff here actually. Um, I generally am not, I'm not a fan of, you know, vegan and vegetarian things, but stuff here actually look pretty good. They got some scallops with couscous and quinoa. Uh, they have, um, looks like a chicken sandwich, but it's made with veggie, um, with sleeping paste patty. And they have, uh, chorizo tacos, uh, but it's a plant-based chorizo and also a fruit tart with dairy-free, uh, vanilla custard. Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab something from this one. The things here look pretty good. Uh, so they actually have a new show at SeaWorld. It is called Rescue Tales. Uh, this is where they had that other pet show right now. I don't remember the name of it. Um, but yeah, it's the same theater, uh, but now they have something called Rescue Tales. I think it just uh, opened maybe about a week ago. Yeah, a few days ago, actually. Yeah, it looks very jungle themed. It looks kind of cool. Yeah, it has a tree house and um, tent and a campfire. So yeah, I kind of wonder what kind of show uh, this one will be. I wonder if it's going to be kind of like the one we're used to seeing before or if it's going to be a completely uh, different kind of show. But yeah, almost show time. So yeah, we'll find out in a little bit. The first thing, Alfred, he's looking at the sign. When you went out for turns around, hopefully you'll get a chance to see those beautiful tufts of feathers on the top of his head that look like horns. They're so cute. Oh, there he is. Hi, Alfred. His big, beautiful yellow eyes. They're so big. It's kind of like us having two grapefruit in the so in inside of our head. His eyes are so big. In fact, they don't have uh, muscles that allow him to move their eyes from side to side, up and down, like you. Yes, who's seen an alligator out in the wild before? Anyone, a couple people? A lot of people probably, right? And that's because they're found commonly in the southeastern United States, from Texas all the way down here to Florida. And they're found in places like lakes, rivers, maybe even the ponds at your local golf course. We have some golfers that know about that, right? The, the golf courses for sure. Falcons, what's the first falcon that you typically think of? A peregrine, right? A peregrine falcon is the fastest animal on the planet. They are able to fly at over 200 miles per hour. Olive, on the other hand, she's much smaller and she's not quite as fast in the air. Instead, she has incredibly long legs to be able to run around on the ground. And All right, so here's the food I got from the food festival. I got the uh, pot stickers or uh, fried dumplings from uh, the Asian market. And yeah, so it looks like it comes with uh, four dumplings and a dipping sauce and some kind of like peppers on top. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, and I also did get from the veggie market uh, the vegan fruit tart. 
Um, yeah, it looks looks to be a good little dessert here. And yeah, this is not from the food festival, but I did go to the Mexican uh, quick service that they have here and I got a carne asada rice bowl. Uh, so carne asada is a grilled steak. It has a cheese on top and a rice inside. Um, I'm not sure if it comes with beans or not, but uh, when I went to Bush Gardens, it came with beans. So uh, next time I got, I definitely got to ask them. I am pretty hungry, so it's time to dig into the food. Hey guys, all right, so let's talk about the SeaWorld uh, food festival this year. Um, yeah, I think the booths are pretty cool. Um, I like how they have the different booths from the representing of different countries, kind of like Epcot. And yeah, the, the pot stickers are pretty good. Um, they were kind of interesting in the sense that um, they were completely made of veggies um, and it had corn, mushrooms, um, carrots, and like cabbage, I think. And I've never, I've definitely never seen corn and mushrooms in pot stickers before, but they were pretty good, surprisingly. Um, dipping sauce was good. It wasn't like spicy. It was just just the right amount of vinegar flavor in the dipping sauce, so that was pretty cool. Um, the, the lime tart from the veggie market was interesting. Um, as I said, it was vegan. Um, and texturally, it was a little like soft, a bit softer than I expected of a custard tart, but, but overall it had a nice flavor. It was kind of like a vegan, almost like a vegan key lime pie. So that was an interesting flavor. Um, yeah, the, the Mexican food I got was not from the food fest, but I do enjoy the Mexican food um, that they have at SeaWorld. Uh, the rice bowl with the carne asada was pretty decent. Um, you know, I've eaten a lot of Mexican food over the years, and it's not, okay, it's not the best Mexican food I've ever had, but it's decent. It's good theme park Mexican food, so I do recommend it if you guys are craving some Mexican food while you're at SeaWorld. Yeah, I do recommend it. Uh, so let's talk about some of the shows. Uh, Tales of Polynesia. Um, it was kind of cute, but it was really just for kids. It was like a um, teach little kids how to dance the hula kind of show. So it wasn't really that great. It was okay. Um, I did really like the Bavarian Jugglers. They were really funny. It was a pretty entertaining comedy show. Um, the new Rescue Tales was quite disappointing. It was... They just... Pretty much like what I showed you guys, I know was kind of short, but that's pretty much all it was. Uh, they showed you some animals and talked about them. So it was kind of like going to the zoo, just listening to the trainer talk. So it's not really a show. I honestly kind of missed the show that they had before with all the cats and dogs and birds and the pig. I thought it was really funny before and it was a really cute show. We saw the dogs do tricks. And the cats, uh, <clears throat> and the cats also do tricks and climb ropes. So yeah, Rescue Tales is not really much of a show. It's kind of a, it's just an animal presentation, unfortunately. So yeah, um, you don't need to be in a rush to watch that one. Um, but it's great to sit inside, especially in the Florida heat, for about twenty minutes. But other than that, it's not really very entertaining. Um, so yeah, well, thank you everyone for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.